Good morning. How are we doing? At least in Colorado, it's still morning time. That's why I'm drinking coffee still. Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to the studio. Uh oh, it's shush shush studio time. Shush shush studio. Shout out to Eric. Thanks for being here, Eric. Oh man, and we already had a super chat come in from er another Eric, I think. Thank you for the $5 super chat. We'll dive right into it right now, and it connects to today's topic very, very well. And of course, let us know where you're watching from. Get those emojis going, okay? Let's uh, country flags make it make it proud. Okay, I see. Uh, all right, let me just jump in here. There it is. Okay, I think a better question is how careful do you have to be with what you say about a running shoe? If you bash a shoe, will they stop sending them? That's from Eric. So Eric, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll explain the uh, whole process of doing running shoe reviews here in the studio, okay? So I'm excited to talk about this topic. Oh man, lots of people streaming in. All right, let me throw up some more comments here real quick. As everyone is, I see running man Sam in the house. Slovakia's here. Hello from Malaysia. Malaysia's in the house. Oh, Ryan, hello. Morning all, 5K PR today, so excited. Ryan, come on now. P PR bell, PR bell. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so good to get a PR. Congrats, Ryan, for the PR. And I think we might need to ring the bell again. Hold on here. I see a new member of the channel. Thank you, Scott, for becoming a member. Where are you, Scott? I see you there. Thank you, Scott. Boom. You get the bell as well. Thank you, Scott, for joining up as a member of the channel now you have access to the emojis and i'm holding my mug up and speaking of mug let's get it going in the chat there what's everybody drinking this morning okay I've got, i'm still sipping on coffee it's still morning time here in colorado so thank you scott now you can use those emojis all right let's keep going here hello from college station okay daryl thanks for watching all the way from uh texas down there columbia's here los angeles Chicago. Oh man, Bavaria. Oh yeah, I should mention we're opening a box today. A box arrived and I don't know what's inside, okay? The the mystery box. It's got some security tape on it, so that's interesting. Thanks for watching from Germany. 7 p.m. in Italy. Perfect timing, I know. When wow, that's amazing how just the time difference. It's amazing. So I know it's not too late over in Europe. Switzerland's watching. Oh my my and I'm going to tweet this out right now. Let everybody know that we are going live. Hold on. Hello from Greece. Oh, man. Just so good to see everyone here. Okay. So today, I'm going to answer your questions about running shoes. All right. So save those questions for here in a minute. And then um, I want to answer this top. I want to talk about the, the title of the, the live stream. Basically, the laying out the process of running shoe companies sending me running shoes and uh, the guidance that they might give or not give in my process for reviewing a running shoe. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today here in one second. But first, I see Sweden here. Okay, so many good comments. Matthew's here. Oh, my, my. And if you could, hit that like button. It will alert the rest of DGR that we are, in fact, live today on a Saturday in the studio. Oh, man. Okay. So, and I'm going to get to first Discord. So, if you are a member of the channel, you get access to Discord, okay? And Discord is an online platform where we can talk about running topics, running shoes, training ideas, marathons, um, you know, all sorts of topics that connect to the running world. Well, this topic came up this morning on Discord. Shout out to Chris. If you're watching Chris live, hopefully you're watching live or maybe the replay. Chris Emery, who I believe is over in the UK, but he brought up this topic of, um, let me just take this down real quick. He brought up this topic of running the process of running shoe companies, Nike, New Balance, uh, Adidas, as everyone says in Europe, what we Americans call uh, Adidas, um, Hoka, they send me running shoes and I review the running shoes, okay? And I, a lot of running shoes are showing up at the house these days, you know, including this box behind me, which again will open up in a minute. 
And so I just want to lay out that process and the influence that running shoe companies have on my reviews for all of you. And it's no shocker here. And that why do I say when I do running shoe reviews, I'm beholden to no one, meaning no running shoe company actually impacts or influences what I say here in the studio as far as the scoring systems, uh, the scoring system, the scores that I give out. For example, oh, I don't even know. It's actually not even in here. I, I forgot to grab it. It's the on cloud Stratus shoe from about four or five days ago. Remember, I did the uh, um, I, I did the review. I think I took the shoe to about 23 miles and I threw in the towel because the shoe was not performing very well. In fact, I weighed it and it was coming in at 10.6 ounces in my size. I think the final score, the early score that I gave to the shoe for the on cloud Stratus was, I think it was like 5.6 or something, very low. The lowest score I think I've ever given out in the studio is on this company from Switzerland going to be happy with me for giving out such a low score. Of course not. But the reason I'm not afraid to do that, first of all, I am not uh, an employee for on or Nike or Puma or uh, any running shoe company in the entire world. They don't pay me as a contracted employee. Yes, they send me shoes, which I'm grateful for, but that does not mean that I have to um, I have to speak you know perfect about a running shoe. In fact, if I were to um, give out better scores just to, um, help a running shoe company, you know, sell more shoes that would, I would lose my legitimacy with all of you out there in an instant. Okay. So the more frankly, brutally honest I can be in my running shoe reviews here in the studio for all of you. And yeah, like I could probably at this point approach a Solomon, for example, here's the speed cross five from Solomon or a, I, you know, at least in the trail running or ultra running world, based on my results from 2020 in the trail running world with Pikes Peak, I could probably sign a contract with one of these companies and say, hey, I want to run for you at full time, you know, professionally. But I've chosen not to go down that path so that I can remain independent and I can give you my truly brutal honest reviews for running shoe reviews like love the hoka mach 4 love the hoka mach 4 don't love the on cloud stratus okay so let me just set these back up here real quick um so i just wanted to lay that out really clearly for all of you that i am not beholden to anybody and um i want to stay independent here in the studio i want to be you know oh and hold on hold on ken sprague ken sprague thank you ken thank you ken for becoming a member of the channel i do appreciate it ken where are you at if i can find your name in the chat i will put it up on the screen sometimes it's 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 uh there there you are ken i see you ken Thank you so much for becoming a member. So I just wanted to lay that out. And let me just make sure I'm not forgetting any other points um, that Chris brought up. So I'm not afraid. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm not afraid to give out bad scores. I'm not afraid to be really like critique a shoe in a big, big way. And um, like, oh, like. Listen, if running shoe companies get upset with me for being brutally honest in the studio, I'll just buy the shoes. Like, listen, like, yeah, it's nice when running shoe companies send me shoes. It's, it's very nice. But at the end of the day, DGR Strong, because you all show up, because, frankly, you become members of the channel, that allows me to remain independent, allows me to be brutally honest, and allow, it would allow me, if I had to, buy more running shoes if for example you know on said okay we're never sending seth another shoe again because he's you know very very um he's critiquing our shoes in a hard hard way so and at the end of the day it's good for all of you like the more like the more brutally honest i am in my running shoe reviews hopefully running shoe companies are listening to what i'm saying and listening oh this is important are listening to your comments um, down below the vlogs, reading your comments, 
For example, a lot, a lot of people agreed with me about the on cloud Stratus shoe. They said, yeah, that shoe was no good. So if they, if on, this is the, this is the, the gauntlet, this is throwing down the gauntlet for on, this hopefully will challenge that company to innovate and make better shoes down the road, which is only good for all of us, right? Only higher quality shoes is good for us. So, okay, I'm going to stop there. I want to look at your questions. Let's get the questions going in the chat. Um, you can ask me about run what I just talked about and talk about, um, talk about running shoes in general. Any questions you have about running shoes, but I'm excited. I just wanted to hit that topic with you guys because it does come up quite a bit um, that running shoe companies do not have an influence on what I say at all here in the shoot like at all zero 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 okay okay matt is asking yes indeed matt i see you there matt is asking will i be reviewing the rc elite 2 from new balance a hundred percent yes indeed a hundred percent i will be i don't know when they haven't sent it to me yet who knows maybe it's in that box that we're gonna open up in a minute i don't know what's in that box um but yeah, so it's coming. Favorite brand? Oh, John, come on now. You can't ask that question. I can't even go there, John. That's too much. It's too much. There's, it's t too many shoes, too little miles. Or too too many shoes, t uh, too little time. Is it, um, let's see, is it bad to use running shoes for casual wear? No way. I think running shoes are great for walking around. In fact, I think they're better than a lot of other options as far as support for your feet. You know, compared to wearing around flip-flops or, I don't know, like even a lot of dress shoes can be kind of hard on your feet. So, I think running shoes are a great option for running around. Let's see. Um, okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just looking for your questions here. Get them going. Get them going. Alvin is asking, to that effect, do you send a communication back to the shoe companies with some constructive feedback or do you expect them to just watch the review themselves instead? 100%. They got to tune in. I'm, again, it's all about time, Alvin. I don't have time to communicate with 20 different companies. They've got to come to the channel and see what I'm saying. Like, I wish I wish I had, you know, more help, basically. But no, I do not communicate with them via email. Um, they've got to come and watch the Running Shoe Reviews. Good question, Alvin. Um, now, listen, if they reach out to me, um, if they reach out to me with like a personal email and say, Hey, Seth, we saw this review. Thank you so much. And da, 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 da. like if I have time, but listen, it's like, there's so many running shoe companies and so many shoes. It would be way overwhelming if I had, if I replied to everybody. Um, okay. Yes, indeed. Andy, thanks for tuning in. Okay. Uh, love from Italy. I appreciate it, Eric. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. Let's see, Eric, not a running shoe question, but I've been wanting to ask, have you ever had any close encounters with wildlife while out running in the trails and mountains? Not really, Eric. I've actually encountered a bear in Boulder, Colorado, but it was in the city in Boulder. It wasn't in the mountains. So no, I've never run into a, ma a mountain lion or a bear. Um, I've actually come close to a, a moose and moose can be very, very aggressive if you're not careful. So uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Cheryl, this is an interesting question. What things should women look for in shoes or does that even matter? I mean, Cheryl, I think at the end of the day, ladies, you know, feet are narrow, narrower. So obviously the fit of the shoe is impacted, which is why most running shoe companies make a ladies version and a, and a, a guys version, a, a men's version. So yeah, I would say that's the big thing. And um, yeah, no, I, I can't think of anything right now. I'm not probably the best person to answer that but thank you cheryl for being here uh, i do appreciate it okay here we go johan do you test different strikes in shoes an example that rebel v2 are so different for midsole or heel striker yes indeed so here's the rebel v2 i do johan so i purposefully this is a great question in my testing i will start forefoot because I'm a I'm a natural forefoot striker so I start forefoot and then in my testing I have to make a mental switch to heel striking and then to midfoot okay so I go forefoot heel midfoot forefoot heel midfoot so I switch my um 
my foot strike and my cadence a little bit, my biomechanics. Just now, I don't do that for every run in a shoe, but I will do that at least once in testing a shoe just to see how it reacts. Uh, for example, the Rebel V2, it's so soft in the heel i had to test it just to just to see what it felt like um so yeah good question johan hopefully that makes sense okay sean i see your question um do you take an emergency device with you when you do big mountain runs or do you usually have cell service on the trails um so not really a running shoe question but i'll i'll take it anyway sean here we go i'm trying to find it to put it on the screen i depending on where i go so i have a spot device it's called a spot device i usually don't carry it on the trails that I go on because the trails are pretty, I'll just call them tame. And there's a lot of people there, actually. You know, you're not out in the wilderness away from people. If I'm going somewhere where there's, I know there's no cell service and there's nobody around, like off trail mountain running, yeah, I'll bring the spot device. But usually I don't bring the spot device. Um, and a lot of times my mountain running, I'll go up the trail and then on the top of the mountain, you have cell service and then you drop back down and you lose it. So it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Uh -huh. Let's see. Any interesting news from a running company you are allowed to share? Um, I don't know. No, nothing, nothing interesting, Adrian. I mean, I'm just waiting for the embargo to end. You know what embargo I'm talking about, but no, nothing, um, nothing major at this point. Yeah, we just went through a big, you know, release season uh, between New Balance and Saucony. But uh, yeah, good question. Um, let's see. I apologize, High Ground. I do apologize. I've yet to run in the Peg 38. Actually, right now, I can't even show them to you. <laughs> Peg 38 is on, or no, no um, sorry. Clifton 8 is on my feet right now. So I'm trying to get the Hoka Clifton 8 to 50 miles. So I have yet to test the 38. So I can't really answer that question. But that's why we're DGR strong into studio. Who can help high ground out? Let him know. I suspect, I think the, the Peg 38 upper looks lighter and a little, yeah. So I'm excited. I, if I had to, I bet the 38 is going to be great uh, with respect to the uh, a fresh upper. I believe the embargo is ending June 15th. June 15th. Sorry. I know it's a long ways away. Uh-huh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's keep them going. Oh, my, my. Almost 300 people watching. Let's get it to 300. Share it. Share the live stream out. I would appreciate it to your running buddies. Actually, yeah. I mean... It's amazing how this channel keeps growing because of DGR, because of you guys sharing it with all your friends. And I realize like sometimes the daily vlog quality is not as high as you might like. And it breaks my heart sometimes too. But at the same time, I think what sets this channel apart and what you guys inspire me to do every single day is to make that connection even if the quality of the vlog is just a little bit lower as far as like filming and cinematic shots and great music in the vlog, I think our ability to, as always, connect down in the comments through the question of the day, um, through talking about our run that day, that's like, that's the bread and butter of this YouTube channel. So thanks for sharing the vlog out to your running friends. I do appreciate it. Um, it does help. So yeah, it's just amazing. Um, okay. Oh my, my Mateo, you read my mind. Mateo, make sure you come back, uh, Monday morning review of the wave inspire 17. Who's a, uh, wave your hand in the uh, live stream chat. If you're a stability running, if you're a stability, if you need stability shoes, for your foot strike okay so wave inspire 17 is coming on monday all right okay let's see i'm just trying to find so many great questions rolling in here mm -hmm. okay sean starting to see audios pro 2 on athletes feet when do you think the adidas release se season will be that's a good question sean it'll definitely be before I would suspect July would be my guess. I would, if they, I would do it. They might do it after the Olympics, Sean, in Tokyo. Yeah, I would suspect July or August. So good question, Sean. It definitely before marathons in the fall. Oh man, thank you, Peter, for tuning in. 
Um, oh, I appreciate that. He says, keep up the good work. Greetings from Germany. Your running shoe reviews are the best on YouTube. Oh, man, I don't know if they're the best, but I will say this much. I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to think outside the box to make the running shoe reviews better. Actually, why not? Share your ideas right now in the live stream. Like, how can I make the reviews even better moving forward, okay? I'm always trying to innovate, and I, I do know for a fact the scoring system is really getting dialed in and on to more actually hold on where is it there it is hold on there we go on to more global um we're gonna develop a page on the website dedicated just to uh explaining the scoring system okay because i know it's a little detailed but i know for a fact we can really i can really help people understand the scoring system so it's coming so anyway peter Thank you so, so much. Okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Jason is watching from Ireland. Thanks for watching from Ireland. Oh, man. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I'm just, I, I, sometimes I have to pause and just read the comments as well. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is there such a thing as a Colorado accent? I think there probably is, and uh, who knows what it is, but... Um, I know Spaceman Stan. I do plan to uh, review the Energy Threes as soon as possible. Okay, Mitchell is asking, are you going to review the Reebok? Oh, the Energy Three. It's been extremely well received everywhere else that I've seen. Yes, indeed, it is on my radar. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Andrew, it's coming. Here we go. Why didn't you fully test the Solomon Road shoes with a carbon plate? Um, it's coming. It's coming. Don't you worry. It's coming. So many shoes, so little time, right? Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can the Clifton 7s do well with daily training, or are they primarily for slow, easy days? You know, that's an interesting question. I think um, I think they're best for easy days, but no, 100% they could be a daily trainer. They, um, I think for me, they're a little clunky, for a daily train they're just like a big ride underfoot it just feels like you have a big shoe under your feet but no they can they could work for a daily trainer uh i wouldn't use them though for a tempo day you know and that's the nice thing about huh that's a nice thing about the nova blast too is you can use it for daily training i would use it for easy day if you can hold back in it but you could also use it for tempo day because that midsole just has that bounce i uh, got it nova blast too is where it is at right now oh love 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 that shoe in case you missed the 50 mile full review um it is live on the channel okay keep it rolling here ken is asking and yes ken is a new member of the channel what if you partnered up with another colorado based runner and gave reviews together is what um it's an interesting idea ken and i've thought about collaborating with another runner if i do think they would need to be local here's the thing though ken is that um, I'd have to really train them in my scoring system, and you guys would have to come to trust their ability to, you know. So it would be a huge process. Um, it would. I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. But and again, let me know in the chat if you know. For example, I'd probably find somebody that's six feet six inches and weighs 225 pounds, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum with respect to me. I'm 5'5", five five, you know, and have buck 20 on a good day, okay? So um, it's an interesting idea, Ken, for sure. I'm not discredit discrediting that idea at all. Um, <laughs> okay. Luis Molina, what's your favorite cloud-like shoe? Well, I mean, the Invincible is just ridiculous. Now, it's just like so bouncy. It's it's just it's it's a crazy shoe. It's kind of heavy, and it's one hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, so they're not giving it away. Uh, but it's just like so bouncy, and I don't know if it's quite a cloud like shoe, but man, it is bouncy. But that would probably be my favorite right now, the Nike Invincible. Mm -hmm. And okay, here we go. Oh man, do 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 do. Let's see. I don't, Alex. He asked, any plans to review some Topo brand running shoes? So, 
Oh man, here's the deal. Okay, this is a great example. This, this, this connects to the title of this live stream. What did I call it? Do running shoe companies tell Seth what to say in running shoe reviews? Oh, this is brilliant. So Topo, I think is based in Colorado, right? Just up there. I, oh gosh, I think they're based near Boulder. They sent me two pairs of shoes last year in 2020. And um, thank you, Topo, if you're watching. I didn't review them. Okay, first of all, I pulled them out of the box, I put them on the scale, and I knew immediately, okay, this is a very heavy shoe, and that does not increase my excitement to test the shoe. Um, but also, at the end of the day, here's the deal. I'm not an employee of Topo. I, I'm grateful they sent me the shoes, but at the same time, I'm providing a service, a marketing service for these running shoe companies through this YouTube channel, through all of you for coming back and watching the channel. Thank you. So like, no, like <laughs> unless we sign a contract or unless there's an agreement on the table, I'm not going to review just any shoe that shows up at my house. For example, that box, which again, I haven't forgotten about it. We'll open this up in about five minutes. Um, so anyway, just want to look, cause honestly, every just you guys, I'm telling it to you straight here. The amount of shoes that are showing up at my house now. I, I don't know if you saw, there was like five Puma shoes. Five Puma shoes that showed up at my house last week. Five. Five. So it's like, you just can't do them all. And so Topo fell through the cracks in 2020. So I'm not opposed to it. But at the end of the day, I'm not a contracted employee with these running shoe companies. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And... Um, yeah, I'm just telling it to you straight. Just telling it to you straight. Okay, here we go. Diving back in, and then we'll get to that box in a second. Um, Javier, yes, I have ran in compression shorts. Love them for recovery. So, good question, Javier. I like compressed sport. Excuse me. Is my favorite. Compressed sport is my favorite brand for that. Okay, let's see. Carl is asking Nike Vaporfly next percent one at 30% discount or next percent two at full retail. I threw that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna say next percent one, and but listen, the next percent two upper is a little more is more breathable. Okay, so if you like a shoe that has a little more breathability, but I'd say go next percent one, yeah. Yeah, the next percent two upper is fun. It's better. It's improved, but I don't know if it's improved enough to warrant a 30% discount. Yeah, so Carl, I'd go next percent one personally. Pinching pennies, pinching pennies. Okay. If name uh, Abdul Karim is asking in Invincible Run or Peg 38. So they're very. I would say, well, I, okay, I have not ran in the Peg 38, so I'm kind of th talking as far along the lines of Peg 37. First of all, they're in very different price categories, okay? You know, 180 versus 119, right? 180, right? 120, I do believe. So $60 difference. Um, so take that into consideration. I mean, the Invinci here's the deal. The Invincible you can use for... <laughs> everything almost i mean i mean i took it out for a tempo day the invincible even though it's very heavy you oh man i mean if you have the money and you want to buy one shoe for a long run for a tempo it's not the perfect tempo day but it could do tempo days easy day daily trainer um i mean the invincible was really fun to train in again 50 mile full review is somewhere on the channel and then peg 37 or peg 38 it's, I would put it more in the daily trainer category exclusively. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Oh, man, 300 people watching. Unbelievable. Um, ooh, this is interesting. Human being is asking, longest distance you'd run in the Hoka Jaws? I personally would race that shoe, uh, for me personally, I would take it up to... I, I, I would not be afraid to do it for a marathon, depending on the surface. But I would say, ideally, I'd say it's more geared toward half marathon race, half marathon and below. And for those that don't know, the Hoka Evo Jaws is a trail racing shoe. 
I, for example, yeah, I wouldn't be afraid to take it to marathon depending on the the type of terrain. But I think I I think it's more so half marathon, 10k type of shoe. So, okay, here we go. Oh man, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to mention really quickly here, the DGR Distance Classic. It's not too late to register if you still want to race. Ugh, Here's, here's the t-shirt. That's right. True Love and I, we're going out later for our 5K. There it is. So um, it's been amazing. It's $10 to register. 10% of all the fees go towards the Brave Like Gabe Foundation. Okay, we're trying to raise $10,000 for the Brave Like Gabe Foundation. Registration is just down below uh, in the description. Also, it's on demoreglobalrunning.com. Oh, I, I almost forgot. The... the re it's been a, <laughs> the amount of PRs and personal bests that have come out of these virtual races has been amazing. So one mile, 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, and then a vertical challenge. OK, so it's all happening right now. But uh, the races stop tomorrow, Sunday at midnight. Tomorrow, Sunday at midnight, races are over. OK, so it's not too late, though, to register. All right. Just down B. Low. OK, here we go. Wow, this is interesting. Boston 9 or Peg Turbo 2? So I did not love the Peg Turbo 2 upper. Um, I was, gosh, that's too bad. I don't, I, I, I don't think it's out here. Here's the original Turbo. I love the original Turbo, okay? The Turbo 2 wasn't my favorite. I'm going to go Boston 9, actually. I really enjoyed the Boston 9. Depending on what you're using it for, I enjoyed the Boston 9 more. A lot of people are saying... Nike needs to make a Turbo 3 and just ditch the Tempo Next Percent. The Nike Tempo Next Percent. I didn't... Here's the inside of the Nike Tempo Next Percent. Can you guys see that there? Okay. I did not enjoy the Nike Tempo Next Percent at all. Um, it was not... I, I Too clunky for training and even tempo days. Um, but the Turbo... Nike Turbo 3. Turbo 3. Turbo 3. Come on. If enough people tweet this out to, to, to Nike, just chanting Turbo 3, maybe they'll make a, a Turbo 3 uh, in 2022 for all of us. I just love the Turbo 1, and um, the Turbo 2 was pretty good, but it's, yeah, ugh, I, I just love the Turbo 1. Who's with me? Who's with me, DGR? Come on now. Um, okay, Rob, and actually, let me know, did you race the DGR Distance Classic? Um... Mm -hmm -hmm. let's see let's see okay onward and upward um nova blast or peg 38 nova blast nova blast luke 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 it's the nova blast 100 percent. it's just bouncy it's fun it's a great ride nova blast all the way Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so sorry. Here we go. Tulio, Mach 4 or Rebel 2? And then I got to open this box. Oh, you guys are just, you guys are getting me going and I can't stop. Mach 4 or Rebel 2? Oh, it's going down. Just so you know, we're going to do a, a running shoe battle between these two shoes soon. <sighs> hmm. You cut me deep, too, Leo. You cut me deep. Mm. I am really struggling. You guys know how much I love this shoe, the Mach Four. I'm, I'm, I am stumped. Um, <laughs> I can't. I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I don't think I can. They are that close. They're just okay. Softer. And this is more responsive. I'm going to say bouncy, responsive. Bouncy, responsive. Ugh. Ah, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Man. Oh, you just put me in a pickle. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, running shoe battle. Stay tuned, everybody. All right, let's open this box. Oh, my, my. Over 300 people tuning in. Thanks for tuning in on a Saturday. Cheers. I hope you're having a great weekend out there oh thank you all 
Oh my my, did, Peter, did you run a 114? Thank, congrats, Peter, for running a 114 in the DGR Distance Classic. That's amazing. Oh, Peter, that's impressive. Okay, here we go. Everybody else, let us know how you did if you did. I'm so sorry, Tulio. I didn't give you a great answer there. I mean, man, there now. Oh gosh, I gotta stop. Okay, here we go. Where's my knife? Where's the knife? I don't know if it's out here. Oh boy. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Okay. I don't know where the knife is. Wait a second. Okay. Bear with me. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. Ah. There we go. Okay. Any guesses? Come on. Come on. Hold on. Let's change this up real quick. Let's just change this up real quick. Come on. Get a little, get a little zesty going here into studio come on unleash unleash that's right get to use those emojis come member of the channel use those emojis right there okay here we go Ugh. what are your guesses for the box oh man i have no clue no clue okay let me just make sure man oh man so so good okay here we go should I close my eyes? I haven't closed my eyes in a little while. Let's do that. Okay. All right. So you guys are going to see the box before me. I want to see some comments come in. Now that's a knife. That's right, Rob. Rob, this knife my buddy made for me in high school. So we collected uh, antlers, deer and elk antlers. Okay. So he and he was really good at making things with these antlers. All right. So isn't that cool? But it's very dull. Just so you know, it's never been sharpened. So it's you don't have to worry it's not sharp <laughs> rc elite 2 sketchers evo speed goat 2 oh my goodness that would i would pass out if that was the case um a cat yes there might be a cat in here you never know triumph 19 that is a good guess okay mm -hmm -hmm. saucony shift 2 okay butter to the bread rc elite 2 all right here we go one two and three oh i'm just telling you it feels like a nike box out of the out of the the other box that's interesting okay i'm not looking promise okay here we go one two three oh 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 <laughs> oh i know oh that's funny that's funny that's funny that's funny that's funny. Sketchers, Max Road. I guess it would be five, I think. Sketchers, Max Road five. Ah yes. It's like it was such it was such a oh, I'm actually really excited about this shoe. I I actually enjoyed the Max Road 4 quite a bit. Um, you know how I knew as I was pulling the box out? The pods, okay? See those pods on the outsole? They're pods. I just felt them immediately knew this is Max Road. And then I barely remembered that they were on the fifth iteration. All right. So I'm actually very excited. This would be a long run shoe. I'm very excited about the shoe, everybody. Max Road. Wow. 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 And now it's not for everybody. A little, a lot of midsole. Uh oh. Here we go, Lewis. I see you there, Lewis. Let's get the bell going in the comment for Lewis. Here we go. Thank you, Lewis. Butter. Butter to the bread. Thanks for becoming a member of the channel, Lewis. I do appreciate it. So um, I'm very excited, everybody. Skechers Max Road 5. I'm telling you, I know Skechers. A lot of people don't like Skechers. They're getting better. I can already tell the collar of the shoe is better from last year more uh a little more padding this is exciting stay tuned butter 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 mm. okay gotta calm down calm down okay here we go focus focus mm -hmm -hmm. that's right raymond thank you lisa i try lisa i try thanks for being here lisa max road five thank you javier thank you Javier. i try i'm trying i'm trying Oh, man. So whoever guessed Skechers, good job. Okay. That would have been... Well, I actually already got the Endorphin Pro, too. 
Oh, wait. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Ken. I almost forgot. All right. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's turn. What are your guesses in my size? Now, this is a maximalist. I'm going to say it's, it's definitely a long run shoe, but could probably be used for, you know, daily training. I mean, it probably not tempo day. It just be it's a little too too clunky, a little too big. But I guarantee there's going to be some good bounce through that hyperburst. Um, interesting. Wow. Um, I'm going. Whoa. 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 In my size, what are your guesses? I'm going. Um, no way. I'm going 7.1, 7.2. I could be way off here. 7.1, 7.2. Whoa. Hold on. Sorry. Had to switch it over to ounces. Okay. 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 Good job, everybody. Okay, 7.6, 7.7, all right? You see that there? Okay, boom. Woo it's always fun to take you guys off the tripod. So 7.6, 7.7 ounces in my size. So I was about a half an ounce off, not too shabby. Um, that's amazing for a long run shoot, just so you know, that weight. But I did see... Hold on, hold on here, hold on, hold on, come on now. Let's do the dance, do the dance, do the dance one more time. Uh-huh, where you at, Ben? Where you at? I see you, I see you, Ben, I see you. Come on now. Oh. And then somebody uh, somebody was asking, what is the weight in grams? It's 220 grams, okay? 220 grams. Sorry, I didn't do, uh, do the conversion for you. Okay, onward and upward. So, yeah, there you go, Dominic. Uh, 220, sorry, 218 grams. So, 218. I can't even think. Like, I when you say, when I hear it's so hot, I, oh, it's just so hard to convert I don't even know what that even means, like 218. It's so it's so different. Okay, everybody, we'll hang out for a couple more minutes here before I got to sign off, finish off the rest of uh, a Saturday. And thanks for tuning in, for hanging out. Shout out to all the new members. Hope you're having a great weekend. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Okay. So as far as a daily trainer shoe... Dermot, um, only one Skechers runner. What would it be? So it's it's crazy. Here's what's crazy. I am testing the Skechers Go Run Ride 9. Go Run Ride 9. It's their go-to training shoe for the roads. And I got to say, the Skechers Go... I'm actually... I might have to re-score because I just... I wore it again yesterday and it was amazing. Skechers Go Run Ride 9 for a daily trainer... Um, they do have some CFP options. I would say nothing amazing compared to everything else. But anyway, the Go Run Ride 9 and frankly, the Max Road 5 now or four, really, yeah, I mean, yeah, gosh. And what's nice about Skechers is that they're more on the affordable end, okay? So good. Okay, here we go. Jumping back in. Let's see. How would you rate the shoe brands in general? So I'm not sure what you mean by that. How would you rate the shoe brands in general? If you mean like all running shoe brands, um, yeah, like I, I get, maybe what you're asking is like top to bottom, favorite to least favorite, perhaps. Maybe that's, let me know, Sean, if that's, or sorry, C-Town C fan. Mm -hmm. Preston Peterson. Would you recommend the Nike Zoom X Invincible for high school cross country summer training? If not, what shoe? I don't know if I would, Preston, actually. Here's the deal. I think it's almost too much midsole. 
okay? It's it's like so I don't think it's quite necessary especially if you're running between let's say 30 and 45 miles a week. I don't know how much you're running in the summer, but I just it's almost too much. I'm going to put this more into I mean I think it's more I liked I like this shoe a lot because it babies the legs, meaning when you're running high volume, in my case I was running, you know, 100 miles a week and more. I really enjoyed this shoe just because it kind of took some of the the pounding off the legs. So Preston, I actually think it's too much um, for the midsole. Oh, man. I mean, it's crazy. This Asics Trinusa 13, a good kind of peppy, could be an up-tempo shoe, but also a daily trainer. The Nova Blast 1 or 2, Asics Nova Blast 1 or 2. Um... What else? The New Balance 1080 V11. New Balance 1080 V11. Well, of course, the Hoka Mach 4. Um, yeah, the Hoka Mach 4, because listen, you're getting ready for a 5K race, so you do need to keep the tempo going a little bit as well through the summer training. You can't just do all kind of slower miles. Um, so I, I would 100%, I think you could do the Hoka Mach 4. Yeah, man. But I think this is just, it might be a little overkill. All right, there you go. All right. Oh, that was a that was a good one, Preston. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck with your cross-country season. Mm -hmm. Boy, a lot of Invincible questions today. Would you recommend the Invincibles for forefoot slash midfoot strikers? I would. Um, I would say it'd be maybe a little more beneficial for a heel striker because there is so much midsole in the heel, sorry, so, so much foam in the, the back of the shoe in the back of the, uh, the back of the heel. I mean, just look at it. I mean, just look at how much midsole foam there is. Sorry if that's a little too bright, but anyway, um, I would. Okay. Yes. He's saying, yes, just one through five would be okay. I would put new balance. Number one. Oh man. That's, we're going to have to do a vlog on that. That's a huge topic. Huge topic. Okay, David watching from the Bahamas. David, can I come hang out in the Bahamas and like we can, you know, go for a run and then, you know, have a little pina colada on the beach or something? That sounds amazing. Thanks for watching from the Bahamas. That's awesome. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. One or two more and then I got a piece out. Um, I have not, Darren, tried the Terra Kigers yet. Um, what are my initial impressions? Also looking for a trail racing shoe for up to half marathon on compacted dirt slash gravel. Oh man. Um, yeah. Whew. I will be trying the Terra Kigers. I think this week, Darren, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. I think this week. Hmm. Man compacted dirt slash i mean i i, I hate to go hoka evo speed goat but it's like it's just such a it's hoka evo speed goat darren it's like uh it can do so much and it actually would do well on compacted dirt slash gravel yeah it really would um do i think nike will do better this year compared to 2020 i hope so i think nike really kind of missed the mark last year so i hope so again turbo three Turbo three, turbo three. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna about wrap it up. Um, Michael, what's the best value carbon plated shoe? I mean, I think the Endorphin Pro from Saucony is two hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken, right? All right, all these numbers. So, I think Endorphin Pro, yeah, or or Endorphin Speed even though it's not a carbon fiber, but endorphin speed at $160. Hello, there we go. Come on now. So, I mean, we all love the, we all, we all love, we all love the endorphin speed. Okay. There's the inside of it. Okay. Soak it in, soak it in. All right. So why not, um, you know, $160. So I'm not, I'm not kidding when I say that. Now it is an ounce heavier but so there we go okay um i saw one more here i'm just gonna end with this oh man 
I got to go. I got to go. I wish I could answer all of them. I got to go, though. But shout out to Ben. Here we go. How should I get more views on my running YouTube channel? Well, Ben, I'm going to send some people your way right now. Everyone, go check out Ben's channel. Now, here's the deal, Ben. You got to work hard. You got to upload a lot. Not every day, but a lot. And bring value. Try to bring as much value as possible. So, Ben... Uh, I don't know if you're in high school or college or where you're at in life, but thank you, Ben, for tuning in. And the key is consistency, just like in running, right? It's all about what's your most important run? Tomorrow's run. That's the most important run. All right, everyone, that's it for today from the studio, live in the studio. Thanks for tuning in. Onward and upward. All right, see beauty. Work hard and love each other. Uh, see you tomorrow.